Okay, I'm at lava beds again. Oh, hang on, my gimbal's, darn it, my gimbal's picky. If I uh, shake it too hard, it has a cow. So let me see if I can get my gimbal back on. Okay, so I'm at Lava Beds National Monument. I'm inside the catacombs. Uh, catacomb cave, whatever you call it. Anyway, I had, uh, so I'm on my third flashlight out of four. So I'm definitely heading back towards the entrance now. I've done the, well, I made it, I just made it as far down the cave as I'm gonna get, heading back. Still quite a bit of hard cave ahead though. Notice how rough the ceiling is. The floor is kind of level, but not really smooth. So, of course I'm technically going uphill too, but that doesn't bother me, it's not that steep. Yeah, so I was talking before I paused the video, how crawling like this, how slow it is. So watch this, I'm gonna count. So I'm going forward, 1,001, 1,002, Okay, so it's like I'm only scooching a few inches forward every few seconds, depending on how my equipment behaves. The higher the ceiling is, the faster I can go. The smoother the floor is, the faster I can go. But right here where the floor is rough and the ceiling is low, I have to go super slow or I'm gonna get myself all stabbed, scraped, and otherwise hurt. Uh, hang on. There we go. Oh. So to the right is the way I came down. That's the only way out of this cave, unless you're really, really skinny, which I'm apparently not. To the left, I already went. That's the way down to the lower end of the cave, which isn't very far depending on how skinny you are <laughs> and how claustrophobic you are. <sighs> I always think claustrophobia would be a good name for some of these caves, but realistically, claustrophobia would be a good name for every cave. Oops, hang on. Our, my gimbal, there we go. What's interesting, the floor is not even that rough. I can tell by the top of these rocks, they have been uh, broken off a little bit by people being on them. Honestly, when this cave was new, first discovered by humans, the floor is probably almost as sharp as the ceiling there. Not the long points, but definitely sharp points. So yeah, for the first explorers, Unless they knew a secret strategy, I don't. It's probably really, really, really difficult to get through here. Unless they just cheated like a fight club, put down a temporary floor. In fight club, they used a rag, or a rug, to climb over a fence. Take a lot of rug to make this place reasonable. And of course, it would have thickness, which would make the ceiling seem even lower. So yeah. There's a reason most of these caves here have not been improved to make them easier for humans. But unfortunately, that any human use is gonna have wear and tear. It's inevitable. Entropy always wins. Let's see if I can, oops. I wanna get a little farther ahead here and then uh, do a quick look around. Okay, so there's that other tube. It's skinnier, but I think a tiny bit taller. Very rough floor either way. Up there is the way I came down. That's the way I'm going back up, obviously. Oh, this is interesting. It's slow going. I don't know how interesting the video is gonna be. So many pretty formations, but how long can you stare at formations? It's like a sunset or sunrise. Everybody talks about how pretty a sunrise is. But realistically, how long can you watch the sunrise? Well, you don't have a choice because eventually the sunrise goes away. But 
Yeah. Ow. I'm leaning my left arm onto this rock, I'm trying to sharp on the old elbow. Ow. Oh, wow. Yeah, some of these rocks are still pretty sharp. In fact, I want to see. Hang on. I'm going to lie down here. Take my nap. <laughs> but yeah, some of these over on the ledge, the edge, a few inches long. Quite a impressive. I'm going to see if I could just go straight through there. It's funny, that's the low point. Well, yeah. Let's see here. Wow. Yeah, this part of the cave is brutal. If you want to come here, make sure you wear good clothes, layers that will protect you, especially your toes. I already stubbed my toes like five times this trip. It's not pretty, but uh, I do have boots. I just don't like to wear them. Hopefully this flashlight will behave a little better. Yeah. So one of my flashlights is almost dead. One of my flashlights is just being glitchy. This one seems to be okay. After this, there's only one more. So yeah, if I'm on my last flashlight, by the time I get to the boxing glove chamber, I might just stop for the day and then finish the cave tomorrow. They'll give me something to do tomorrow. Wow. There we are. See, it's getting bigger ahead. So the floor is rough, but the, at least the ceiling's higher. But it's not tall enough that I can actually stand up yet. I tell you, after half an hour of crawling, standing up is like the best thing ever. There's some loose threads in here, like, uh, what's it called? Lint or whatever from clothing. I'm not here to clean up other people's mess, but yeah. Pretty sure it's not mine. Oh, wow. See, I'm almost part where I can stand up. I'm on one knee now. Okay. It's a very tiny side passage, so I'm not even gonna bring my backpack. Wow. Wow. Oh wow, wait a minute. Holy cow. Wow. Dude, I can fit through here. Let me get my backpack. Weird. Maybe that's 